people often say, to know the future, look to the past. A great nation with 1.4 billion people and an uninterrupted civilization of over 5,000 years finds its own path toward modernization. Presenting one of the most awe-inspiring spectacles on the planet. How can we understand this new form of human civilization? Where does it originate from? And where is it headed? In search of answers, we have to travel back in time to explore the unique spiritual world of the Chinese people. Here are 10 ancient sayings that have been passed down over thousands of years and have permeated through the common values of contemporary Chinese people. These sayings hold the key to unlocking the enigma of what defines China. No matter where they are in the world, Chinese people are well acquainted with the four-character phrase Tian Sha Wei Gong. But what does this phrase truly mean? To find out, we must journey back 2,000 years. This is the China National Archives of Publications and Culture. It contains a vast collection of ancient documents and records that are regarded as national treasures. We're now inside the mountain, where we can find the treasures that we're looking for. This is a collection of the Suku Chun Shu, often translated as the complete library in four sections. It was completed in 1792 during the Qing Dynasty. It includes the classic Confucian text, the Book of Rites, also known as Li Ji, which dates back over 2,000 years. On one page, it is written, a just cause should be pursued for the common good. Tian Sha refers to the geographical space covered by the sky, which describes the spatial extent that ancient Chinese relied on for survival. The word Gong can be traced back to over 3,000 years ago in Oracle Bone Script. And in the late Warring States period, the word Gong already had the meaning of public and common. The saying, Da Dao Zhe Xing Ye, Tian Sha Wei Gong, means the highest political ideal and the highest guideline for governing society is that the world belongs to all people. From this, we can see that China has long been opposed to the notion that a strong country must dominate others, and it does not agree with the zero-sum game of you win, I lose, because the Chinese have never had such cultural traditions. 天下为公出自《礼记·礼运》中关于理想社会的论述。这时啊，选贤与能，讲信修睦。人们公而忘私，不独亲其亲，不独子其子，使老有所终，壮有所用，幼有所长，鳏寡孤独废疾者，皆有
You heard that correctly. 100 million people, close to the population of the United Kingdom and Spain combined. The concept of Tian Xia Wei Gong also embodies the world view of the Chinese people. Ten years ago, Xi Jinping, for the first time, expounded the idea of building a community with a shared future for humanity. This idea extends the principles of equality and justice to relations between nations, regions, and between humans and nature. It can be seen as an expression of the Chinese people's pursuit of an ideal world. From the first expressway in East Africa to the first sea crossing bridge in the Maldives, China has aided, invested, and participated in a series of projects across the globe. This has stimulated investment amounting to nearly 1 trillion US dollars and over 3,000 cooperative projects, helping nearly 40 million people leave poverty behind. The notion of the world and the nation states and identity is very different in Chinese thinking to Western thinking. China from Jiangxi, from the Zhou Dynasty onwards, you know, has a notion of the world all under heaven, which is the world. So China does have a, a concept of the world. That's why China can come up with ideas. Belt and Road is, is one example, but uh, you know, shared future is a no summit at its peak is a notion of the world. Das Konzept des Tianxia und der globalen Sicherheitsinitiative sagt, es gibt nur eine Zukunft, wenn wir verschiedene wenn wir Kooperation machen zwischen verschiedenen Systemen. Verschiedene Systeme können nebeneinander existieren. Tianxia Weigong is the inheritance of ancient Chinese culture and wisdom and also an ideal pursued by generations of Chinese people. Perhaps now you have a better idea of the relationship between Tianxia Weigong and today's China.